All right, so we're just going to do... Well, Byoyomi survival will be ill-advised, but um, also... Yeah, I don't really feel like doing... <laughs> oh, no. No, still 035 left. Defeated me. As well as Enu Gotanda. So, yeah. Um, man, all these random entries on the scoreboard are making it really difficult for me to get on the scoreboard. Just saying. All right, but yeah, let's let's shoot for a high score. Why not? What's the worst that could happen? We could learn some. We could memorize some of these problems if we see them enough. I have to generate some new ones. <laughs> okay, so wait. Um, my grand idea was silver two four. However, silver two four, uh, he takes, and then a horse two four, is not in fact checkmate. So I need a better plan. <laughs> Oh. Wait. So, rook there, king takes, silver drop is not checkmate. Brilliant. Um. Hmm. Yeah, it's good for me to practice, because I suck at these. Play the correct move. Oh! I wanted to play the incorrect move. Now I guess the this banner is there to remind you that it's your turn to play. Um, uh, now that I look more at this, this looks a lot like the 81 dojo board. And if I were just to take the 81 dojo board with the coordinates um, and copy that into this program, we'd have coordinates on the board. That might be worth, really anyone could do that. You don't need me to figure it out, but might still be worth doing. Um, wait. Okay, that's wrong. I got excited because I thought I saw a solution. We're going to go back and figure out what I missed. Alright, this has to be right. No, okay, we failed two in a row. The object is to checkmate the opponent, right? Um, so this is a rook. Hmm. <laughs> okay, we got one. In addition to a high score table, maybe they should add a low score table, just so I can get my name out there. Just a thought. Man, these are hard for me, because I suck. Wait, this is cool, actually. That's pretty spiffy. Okay, we got two. If I could just hack um, the cookies or whatever, I could have a really high score. Maybe I should do that, just to spite them all. Like, everybody being like, hey, look at my high score, and I could just, like, submit a bogus high score, and people would ask, like, what the hell? How did you do that? <laughs> uh... Yeah, I think that might need to be done at some point. It could be funny, at least for a little while. Um, Alright, so the horse back here is not made because the king could run... No, oh, can't run this way. It's because this gold is here. Um... So to displace the gold, you do this, and then this is checkmate. 
Um, okay, we got three. It's three more than I thought I was going to get. Oops, no, over here. Wait, what? I didn't see that move being possible. Hey, we got one. Oh, I don't know. We're out of time. It even prompts me for my name, knowing that, like, there's nothing I can do to get on the high scoreboard. It still asks me. Flex on show me the 26, act like it was easy. Exactly, that's what I was saying, man. Uh, it wouldn't be that hard. Uh, it's not like, I don't think the packet's validated in any way. So, um, it might be encrypted through GWT, but, um, or rather, there might be obfuscation through GWT. Like, so there's all of these sources that are somehow attached to this page. I don't know exactly how it loads and stuff, but... Um, so there's the CSS, there's the GWT clean, there's some other stuff. But, yeah, somewhere there's a cookie. You just know there's a cookie, and you just change the number in the cookie while you're solving. Yes, yeah, so all the functions just have random names, but that doesn't necessarily mean the storage of the site. <laughs> Pretty printed. Sure. Beautiful. Yeah, you just have to call the right function, and then your score will be there. No, probably half of those are library functions that you never want to call. Anyway. I'm sure if you call it the right function with the right parameters, you could get your name in the score table. Or if you just edit the cookies while you're solving. And suddenly you have a ton of problems solved. Unless that's stored server-side. Maybe it is. But also, you could probably make some sort of script that just reads in the problem. Especially with the latest patch that I'm submitting. Um, that is just going to allow you to export the SFEN. Like, cheating it would not be so hard. Um, okay, so I'm confused. Like, I could promote the pawn. If silver takes... Wait, I thought that gold drop over here would be made. It's not. Here we go. Check. Mate. We got one. We're the best. Yeah, why can't all the problems be that easy? <sighs> that would defeat the point of doing the problems. Boop. Oh, come on. That's close enough. That was an alternate solution, I'm sure. Um. I guess, yeah, the horse there could have mated, too. Okay, we got four down. I might have seen some of those before. I've seen this one before and I don't remember it. Um... 
This damn horse is covering this square. Oh, this was, yeah. And then this discovery. And inner positions are futile for some reason. Oh yeah, because the bishop is covered. So nice. Um, so now we get mate and five problems, which are brutal. Well, I had concerns, but the maintainer was like, he didn't have any concerns, so uh, that's up to him. It's really not my issue. What do I do with the pawn? so weird. I mean, this square is attacked twice, so you have to sack there. That's just how problems work most of the time. Okay, this is allegedly a mate in five. Don't look like a mate in five. Alright, we failed it. I don't have the faintest clue what the solution is to this one. Let me look at the answer, because I have no idea. This check. Draw the king out. Oh, because otherwise the king gets mated by a gold on the head. So he has to be drawn here. And then you still get gold on the head anyway. Okay, that's clever. Um, how about this one? What was the deal with this? This sack, this check, then the knight mates. Okay, and if the lance takes instead? It's still pawn drop. No, it's not. Um, if lance takes instead, then it's knight drop here with checkmate. Alright, so fine. That's what that's about. Well, we got five. If we could triple that, we'd be on this, the leaderboard. <sighs> Easy, right? Man, I have five pieces and no idea. This is a rook, not a horse. This is a dragon that's not a horse, so... Pushing this bishop, losing that bishop, might not be the key move. Um, oh wow, that's cool. Check, and then the bishop mates. That's clever. Um, Well, this looks like a... That's a horse, right? Yeah. So double check is wrong. It looked right. Very much looked right. Um, okay, we draw the bishop away. But why draw the bishop away? Oh, because this is a horse. This is not something else that I thought it was. Um, I 
<laughs> wrong. Okay. Why would that be wrong? I'm confused. No, that's correct. It's just cutesy. Oh, does not... It fails to cover the corner square. That's why it's wrong. It's not actually checkmate. Okay. Um... Pity every move has to be check, because that king is super surrounded. Oh. Right, so then one of these golds has to move away and give way for me to checkmate. Nice. Um. How is this enough material to make? understand. Oh, okay, that's cool. Well, we got no time. Let's play a random move. All right, we're out of time. I kind of wish the last one, you just have as much time as you want to try to solve it. But maybe that kind of ruins the excitement. That was me just playing a completely random move, because I had no idea. What is the answer? This check. Then that one. But... Why does this work against king 1-2? Where's... Th oh, king 1-2 is illegal. Okay. That works against king 2-3 because gold drop is made. Because this gold is pinned. Okay, that's cool. Man. Ay ay ay. So this check, if horse takes, I don't have a mate. That's too bad. Because the rest of that looked really enticing.
Wait, no, if I were to drop here, this drop it, if they were to put a pawn here, that would not be a futile interposition. Um... Hmm. Checkmate without allowing futile interposition, or while ensuring that all interpositions are futile. Looks a bit tricky. Yeah, that damn horse is a very strong defender. That horse on 3-2 is a very strong defender. So, I'm not sure. I knew that wasn't right, but I got really frustrated, so I guessed a move. Guessing doesn't get you very far in this, unless you're extremely lucky. Oh, this is cool. We draw the king out and then checkmate it for being drawn out. Um, and this has to move up. Okay, this is kind of contrived with two tokens, but hey, let's enjoy it anyway. Um, wrong not even partial credit it's just gonna call it wrong how cruel <laughs> correct Yeah, we got one. Woo! No idea. <laughs> All right, we got four today. Could be better. Um, I was about to move the knight and promote, which is no good. The silver there is the only mate. So I missed this one, or I guessed silver 2-2. Two, two. With thinking that after Rook takes, Gold drop down here would be mate, and it isn't. So, I need a better move. Um, maybe just silver drop on the king's head. There's three ways to take it. If Rook takes, uh, Gold drop 4-1 is mate. Oh, there's two ways to take it. Golds don't move backwards. If king takes the silver, gold drop 2-2. Two, two. All right, and the other one I missed was this. 
And I forget what I selected. I selected the rook on one one. Because I can't actually see what's in my opponent's hand. But if I could see it, that would be the wrong answer. Um, so, what is the mate? I mean, the rook has to go down this move unless somehow I can do a check on the following move, which has no inner position. So I'm thinking the rook has to be placed this turn. Wait. If rook 1 4, horse takes 1 4, rook 2 2 mate. Um, but also. If Rook drop at 1-4, king takes, and then what? I don't see it. Oh, then the silver retreats. See, so yeah, the harder line is king takes, silver retreats, promoting with checkmate. This one's pretty straightforward. Yep, we got it. Yeah, a lot of these problems are here you sacrifice a piece on turn one and there's either one or two ways that it can be taken and each of those results in a checkmate. That's about where they are. That's about the gist of it. Um, I think a next thing, next feature that should be developed for the site should be logins and then login based stuff. Like a problem history and submitting problems and crediting them and allowing you to edit them and stuff like that. I'm probably not, it's a lot of work. But just getting logins working, which I don't know how to do, would be a reasonable next step, I think. So if I've got this horse to move, like up here, like if I gold drop here, a horse takes it, and then my rook moves over, um, the king escapes to where the horse is. So, allowing the king to escape can't be right. That silver on 2-1 seems to ruin a lot of the checkmate ideas. Chasing the king. Like, if I were to move this horse away... Well... Yeah, if I were to move this horse anywhere, the king is going to take this rook. Um, or if I play a horse to 3-2, silver takes horse, and there's no mate. So the typical recipe of sack something and then checkmate doesn't seem to be going so well here. I mean, that recipe works every time, except this time. Oh, wait. I've seen this one before. Yep. I've seen this before. That's the only reason I could figure it out. Um... I'm puzzling over... Let's see, what... Oh, this is a dragon. Okay. Well, no, if gold drop, if king takes dragon 3-4 check is not mate. So, I think we need to gold drop in the corner. 
Yeah. But silver takes. Then dragon takes the pawn as mate. So many unusual for a real game checkmates. Ay, uh, yeah, yeah. Wait, so we just have to get the silver to move. And then either of our pieces mate. Um. Okay, this is extremely cut and dry. Okay, I failed this one earlier. No, I didn't. Um. But yeah, it's obvious. Like Most of the time you just drop the rook immediately next to the king. So many problems are like that. Okay, mate in five. We've got our way out of the easiest stuff now. How is this not mate in three? This is a dragon. Dragon one one. King two three. Silver retreats. Check. King out. Oh, that's no good. Um. Yeah, this is bad. <laughs> Wait, it has to be this check, this check, no promote. I don't know. Check. Got that wrong. Close enough. Again, that last one, I had five seconds left. I'm just making a completely random guess. So, how is this not... Okay, what is it? It is this check. Then you have to promote here. Why is promotion necessary? That can't be right, can it? Or rather, this is the main line. But why is this necessary? Yeah. Oh, it has to protect the pawn. Okay. Duh. Yeah, that would explain it. And this other one I made a total random guess on. Maybe I should actually attempt to solve it. Maybe. So rook 1-1, one, one, king takes, gold 2-3. Oh, and the king moves and then the lance moves up. I mean, I could move the gold up too, right? No, because that would allow the bishop in. Then bishop would take. So yeah, this is necessary. Yeah, measuring your progress would be great. I don't know about the whole players facing off thing. I guess some people might be into that. I'd say just play a real game. <laughs> Alright. Um. Alright, so... Pierce... Um, I'm going to quickly check in on this. Yeah, no response there yet. That's fine. Um, yeah, I did... Wait, I've got multiple of these open. I did message my opponent on the challenge thing. And see, so yeah, I'm following our tournament organizer's instructions about how it is that you should get your game played. So I guess it's a friendly reminder to everybody, play your games. Um, don't end up in situations where neither player gets the point. 
because those are sad. Yeah, last round finished with some players not playing, which is less than ideal. Um, well, so I see Nyrox still in it. He's still playing, I guess. Did he skip last round or did he actually play it? Like, how did everybody score last round? We got Ronin, Transport Pokemon, Sheep Dan 1234, GLGR, Gen 4, Not Johannes, Riddleben, Kiny 1, Berserk, Shimon, Hatikyuk, uh, Forex Adun, um, Lama Lord, Rindal, Rindef, Rindef, myself, Little Mage, Leos, Leo Sugata, and Cleffa all managed to get games played. Wait, so there was only one no play last round, despite all that confusion? Huh. Interesting. I guess things are going well overall. Yeah. We'll see. Seeing the three moves when they actually show up in real games would be nice. Um, So I'm tempted to think bishop 4-4, four, four, gold takes, and then rook 2-3 promote. But um, is gold takes necessary? Well, yes, it is. Yeah. All right. Um, pawn drop checkmate. Easy. It's not mate. All right. Um, Pawn drop checkmate. It's so good. I don't even know if that bug was worth fixing, but we fixed it the other day, so now you can no longer pawn drop mate. Um, so the clue to me here is that the king is threatening to escape to four or five. Therefore, we need the bishop to cover uh, the four or five square. Or rather, the horse. Um, okay, I swear I've seen this one before. I've seen one that looks very similar, but maybe not exactly this one. Um, huh. Well, this is different. Okay. Okay, so what now? I need to cover 2-2 two -two somehow. No, I'm sorry, I do have that covered. Um, that's pretty funny. It's a nice deflection tactic. Ah, oh, shit, I think I've seen this one before. It was awful last time, too. Um, hmm. Mm -mm. Just to clarify, this is a dragon. All right. Um,
Well, we only have two turns to sack pieces before the mate, so we have to sack our piece each turn. It's just science. I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed that I don't have this. Okay, hell with this. What the... What could this possibly be? What? This makes no sense. Oh my god. Alright, no idea. That problem is just pure evil. Okay, what is this? Mate in five. This sack. This pawn drop. And then we mate here. Okay, I can believe that. Um, because this knight is pinned thanks to this bishop. That is extremely unusual. Alright, here. This check draws the king forward. This draws the... Oh! Okay, that is hard to spot. Yeah. Okay. And then this one, I don't remember. This check, this check. We spent like 10 minutes on this one last time. And yeah, it's not obvious. And I'm still confused about one of the details. So if like king takes bishop, um, how was this solved last time? This... King takes bishop. All right, I'm not allowed to enter moves. All right, fair enough. Um, well, I think then, just to confirm, this is a dragon. Yeah, so if king takes bishop, then the dragon checks. And there could be a futile interposition, but then the dragon would take it. Yeah, okay. So we draw the king out to its doom. That's not super typical. All right, these are hard. I'm sorry. The shogi stuff is complicated. Um, I guess that said. <laughs>